All right, for the next five minutes, I want you to work on your splits, your side splits and your middle splits. Work on those, please. Your side splits and your middle splits, please. Practice your side splits and your middle splits for the next five minutes. Side splits are the most important ones, okay? Side splits for your side kicks and your front kicks. You have to get lower. You have to be able to go all the way down. Every day you should be doing your splits. In the morning, after you get up, and then before you go to bed. And then whenever you're in class, obviously. So, all right, three more minutes of splits. Work it side to side. Side split to side split. Hold it for about five seconds. Five to ten seconds and then rotate. Two minutes. Make sure that when you do your side split, when you're looking in the direction, the leg that's in front should look like a front kick. So your ankle should be straight and your toes curl back. All right, like a front kick. And then the back leg should be a side kick. So you got to pull your toes towards your knee. One minute. And so hold it for about five to 10 seconds and then rotate. Try not to lean forward over your front leg. Just try to stay up.
Okay, good. All right, relax. All right, those of you here at Apex, you're going to put that little sweatband around your ankle. Then you're going to strap into your cord. All right, and then you're going to strap one leg into the cord. Make sure you strap the... Strap it around the the sweatband, then we won't cut you. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Those of you here at Apex. All right, uh, Virginia, this is what you're going to do, okay? You're gonna be in a walking stance position. You're gonna move as far back or far forward, all right? So that the cord is not touching the ground. Okay. Now from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do 10 front kicks without stopping. So what you're gonna do, all right, from there is you're gonna kick back, kick three. You're gonna do 10 of those, okay? 10 of those as fast as you can, and then you're gonna rest 30 seconds. And then you're gonna do it again, 10, 10, 10. Rest 30 seconds. 10 kicks, rest 30 seconds. You're gonna do that five times. So a total of 50 kicks, okay? Then we'll switch legs and we'll do the other leg, okay? All right, so do your 10, rest for 30 seconds and then do 10 again without stopping. Okay, go. Right here, front kicks. Nope, right here. So you're not even hitting it, right? So we need to be hitting it like this. So when you hit, oh. don't switch your legs. Whatever you do, do not switch your legs. You need to do it 50 times before you switch. Don't tilt your head, Virginia. Okay, don't tilt your head and do this. Keep your head straight. Make sure your hands are up inside your body, right? Hands are up inside the body when you kick. Front kicks, 50 front kicks. Sets of 10 with a rest in between sets. Again, you're still doing this, Virginia. You're still tilting your head. Head straight. Don't worry about pivoting on your front kick. You're not kicking high. You're just kicking as fast as you can. All right, so one, two, three, four, just like this, Virginia, all right? No pivot. You gotta go fast though. One, two, three, four, five, ten times. Once you do your five sets of ten, then you switch legs. If you don't do it right, you're not gonna break your board, Miss Lizette. You don't break your board, you can't test. All right, that's why you haven't gotten that red stripe yet. All right, because we're not we're not kicking very good. Make sure the ankle is straight. Virginia, okay? Don't let the foot flop. Don't let it wiggle like that. Okay? Keep those hands here when you kick, remember, right? 
Come inside the body. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Start in your walking stance position, right? Most of our front kicks come off a walking stance right now. So practice it in a walking stance. Your ops hoagie. Extend it all the way out though. I don't want you to kick as fast as you can and give me sloppy kicks. I want you to kick fast but give me good kicks, All right? Kick down, kick down, kick down, kick. I don't wanna see this, All right? It's not sparring, okay? I want you to kick fast, but good kicks. Kick as fast as you can with good kicks. No, that's too fast. See, that's not good, because then your foot's, your foot's flopping around, Virginia, All right? You got noodle foot, huh? Kuksu foot. All right, you, if you have this position on your foot, right, then your foot doesn't flop around. If you don't do that, right, then this is what happens, right? If you just do this, you see, if I don't concentrate on my toes, you see what happens to my foot? It's flopping, right? If I concentrate on my toes, you see? My foot doesn't wiggle, right? A lot better that way. So you got to concentrate on your toes. Make sure you're standing in a walking stance. Okay, and once you get your 100 kicks, you can take a quick break, get some water. Better kick it strong, Miss Lizette. You're not gonna be able to break a board kicking like that. We don't have good listening here, so. Okay, so the next one now, you can go back, go back to the other leg, the first leg, strap in, those of you here at Apex, all right? So now you're gonna be in your walking stance position now. When you throw the kick, you're gonna kick as strong as you can, right? Five kicks as strong as you can, all right? You're gonna pivot, you're gonna try to get that kick up as high as you can, and then reset. Do five of those, then you rest. You don't have to do them fast, but I want five as strong as you can, and then take a quick little break, and then do another five. Take a quick little break, do another five. So you're gonna do five sets of five or 25, strong, as strong as you can, as high as you can kicks. Right, you guys are using straps. Obviously, it makes it a little bit harder to kick high. But you, if you bring it up fast, you're going to be able to kick high. All right, you have to pivot though. Okay, I want you to pivot from that walking stance position. Pivot, and then, 
right? And then go up. This is your side split position. That's what we're doing with our body right now is when we kick, side kick. Here's my side kick leg. And then my front kick here, side split. It's just the side split is up and down, right? Versus on the ground. All right, let's take a look. Let me see, Virginia. I want five strong kicks. Ah, toes, toes, toes. Like you're tippy toeing. Your toes need to be like tippy toes. Nice. That was good. Oh, that's not bad at all. See? Don't step, Isaiah. Why are you stepping? Kick as hard as you can for five, then rest. Kick as hard as you can for five, five times, and then switch legs. So 50 strong kicks, basically. 25 each leg in sets of five. You have to control it. Those of you on the band, you can't just let the band whip you back. All right. The band just whips you back, then you have no balance. Legs have to be stronger. If your legs aren't strong, you can't kick high. This is all about building leg strength. Be driving with the knee. Do sets of five and then rest. Set to five and then rest. Keep your knee up, Virginia. Once you get up high, boom, boom. Keep the knee up when you pull back. Yes. Once you get your 50 kicks done, take another break, get some water. Ah, foot's floppy. Foot's floppy. Point your toes. Yeah, concentrate on straightening out your ankle. Pulling toes back. Don't let it flop. Push the ankle forward. See, push. Push and hold it there. Pull those toes back. Try to pivot, try to pivot, Jason. There you go. Yep.
Virginia, are you done with your 50 yet? No? Almost? No, the guys here, aren't, the people here aren't done, so they're still working, so. It just takes them a little bit longer because they have to switch legs and switch the cords on their legs, so. You need to be kicking straight down the line, Natalie, not toward the mirror. All right. If you're doing it right, that cord should hit your butt, right? The cord should be riding up on your butt if you're doing it right. If it rides up past it, that means your knee position's bad. If it rides up too much on the inside, your knee position's bad. It's better. It's higher. And once you get your set done, go ahead and take a break, get some water. Look how high that sidekick used to be. So much higher than what it is now. Hmm? No, I'm saying, right? So you have the potential to get it back there because you, you were able to do it before. Hmm? It's pivoted more than what it is now. Just so you're aware, that's where you were. You can get back right there. All right, so next one. Strap back in the same way. So now this time from here, those of you here at Apex, right, all you're going to do from here is just pick, pick the knee up, two, three, right? Do once again, sets of 10, right? Five sets of 10 each leg. Miss Virginia, you are just this, this, this. Try to get your knee up to your shoulder, okay? When you lift your knee, right? Don't lift your knee like this with the toes in front. I want your toes by your butt, your heel by the butt, and bring that knee all the way up to here. Yes, okay? 10, so one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then rest. Five times, and then switch legs. Do the same thing. Okay, don't, don't go left leg one time and then right leg one time. I want you to do all left leg, 50 of them, right? And then move to the right. Okay, go. Just keep kicking, Miss Lizette. All right, all right, kick, boom. And then when you switch legs, you got to practice the other leg and do the same thing. Once again, that lift, when you lift that knee, right, that cord should be hitting your butt. Should be hitting your butt. All right, just moving that knee straight up. All right, should be wrapping around your butt when that knee comes up, wrapping around your butt.
Where are your hands, Miss Virginia? I mean, you can pull them apart if you need to. If you need to get the knee up a little bit higher in between the hands, that's okay too. Huh? Just make sure that this hand doesn't block your knee from coming up. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we still want the knee to come up as high as you can get it. There you go. Drive that knee. Front kick starts with how you drive that knee up. It's easy with the cord because the heel is being pulled back by the cord when you lift up. So that's the position that your leg should be when you guys throw your front kicks without the cord on. the knee. There you go. There you go, Mr. Dayson. Good. Once you get all your those hundred kicks or hundred knee lifts on each or fifty knee lifts on each side, hundred in total, take a break, get some water. Brandon, how old are you going to be this year? Eleven. Okay. Okay, Virginia, Lizette, Brandon, and Isaiah, you guys are going to work on all of your pumses with front kicks from Kibon Erchang up to your current pumse. So whatever pumses have front kicks, those are the ones you're going to work on for the rest of class. All right. 
uh, cadet and juniors, you're going to work on starting with Tegek Sajang up to your highest tournament Pumse front kicks. You're just gonna work on those Pumse's with your front kicks. So, no, oh, thank you, sir. No, you're fine. You just leave it there. Focus on your front kicks, what we just worked on. Those kicks should be higher. A little bit of snap to it. The knee should feel like, wow, feels a little bit lighter. Make sure you're pivoting on your front kicks. Turn your foot sideways and then re-pivot back to the stance when you put it down. Take your time, Miss Virginia. Don't rush. Concentrate on your front kicks. There's no power. Where's your power? Where's your snap? Hmm? Does you no good to kick high and then soft. Once again, you're just going to keep repeating these forms with front kicks. You have a lot of them. Only do the ones with front kicks. Don't do any forms that don't have front kicks. Bring that knee up quick. Why are you guys all crowded over there, right? You got all this room around. Huh? So once again, you put yourself there, you're gonna run into the side over there, Brandon. All right. You got all, all right, you can scoot Isaiah over. All right. All right, Isaiah can move to the back, you can move to the front. You guys don't utilize your space very well.
Once again, Miss Virginia, you're getting a little bit lazy with the retraction. Uh, you're just kind of kicking and dropping, right? All these exercises we worked on, right? Made you guys go fast, whole bunch of these fast. All right, then we did the knee lift, remember? Knee lift here. Yeah. yeah. That's what the front kick starts off as here. And then you pop it up. And then you pull it back, keeping the knee up, and then you go down. Yes. Okay. Got to make it strong, Virginia. I would recommend whenever you're practicing Pumse class, Virginia, you wear your full uniform. That way you can practice the snap with this. It's, it's hard to snap with just t-shirt. Okay, you can hurt yourself doing it. So all right, wear your tobok top, wear your full tobok when you practice for a Pumse team, okay? Uh, we'll have to get you, uh, you have to get, you don't have a Pumse uniform, huh? We're at red pants. Okay. I'll have to get one ordered for you then. Because you'll need that for next tournament. For AAU in February. So I'll get it ordered. Okay. I might have one. Let's see if I have one. Make it strong, Miss Lizette. All right. See, that's the way it should be all the time, right? Not when after I not after I tell you. You should always do it like that. All right, Mr. Brandon. Instead of you and Lizette, you guys can get going. All right, you guys are here for earlier class too, so. Okay, it's good work today. Okay, you guys go home. Go relax. Right, make sure you tell mommy thank you. Hmm? Okay. So.
Did you do Tebek? No. Did you do Tebek? Mm. Tebek and Pyongon have it too, so front kicks. Bye. See you, Mr. Brandon. Do you do Korea? Oh, good change. Did you get your videos uploaded? Okay. Good. Hope Mrs. Gasket did. I didn't hear from her. And then hopefully they'll publish a schedule so we'll know at least around what time and when, what day will be. I haven't seen anything yet, so. All right, Miss Virginia, that's good for tonight. Okay. Okay, good job. Pra keep practicing on those front kicks and work on your side splits, okay? Okay, tell mommy and daddy I say hi. We'll see you later. <laughs>